Now the second part of the solid state. In this, I will be taking the cubic crystal systems and some particular derivations for it, so that you don't have to cram anything. So let me take a simple cube. So let this cube be your room, so that you can imagine it properly. Okay. Now I will be deriving that what to do for a corner. So let me take a corner of the cube. So this will be the corner of a cube. Now what I can do? I can take another cube adjacent to this. So let me take it. So this is a cube. If this is a room adjacent to your adjacent to your room, okay. So now what another cube can be taken be? Now backwards of this cube. So I can get another cube here. Okay. Okay. So these all are. Uh, there is no space between the cubes. So similarly for the room I am staying in, I can take another adjacent room to it. So how many cubes I am getting till now? One, two. Three and four. Now similarly, I can do for the above one. I want to find the sharing of a corner. So for above, if I take another room, I can get this cube for the adjacent one. Now for my room, there will be another room above. So this one means here. Okay. So similarly for the backwards one also, I can get two rooms. So we can see that this is a Corner. So how many cubes it is shared by? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So see, for one corner, I get eight cubes to be shared by it. It means I have one atom here. So in each cell, in each cell, how many atoms I will be getting? One by eight of an atom. Okay. So this is one of the basic concepts. So what is the contribution? So the contribution from a corner is one by eighth. Now let me derive the contribution from a face. So if this is a cube, now let me take any other face. So let me take this face. So this is the face. Now the atom will be covering it from this side and from the other side. So if I just take this face of the room, okay. So how much atom will be covering it? One half. See one one half will be on this side, the other half will be the other side. The face divides it into two parts. So the contribution from a face center or the face will be one by two th of an atom. So that is half atom I will be getting. So I hope till now it is clear. Now what the next step can be the derivation of what will the contribution from a body center. Now body center is the center of the cube, so the center will be here. So it can occupy one full atom. So what will be the contribution from it? So the contribution from a body center will be one atom. See, I will get one full atom inside a cube. So that will be the contribution from the body center. Now let me get to the cubic systems. So the first cubic system is the sim simple cubic cell. Simple unit cell, which is also known as primitive. Let us derive for it. So, let me take a cube. So, what it states that all the atoms in this cell, all the atoms will be at corners. Will be at the corners. So, in a cube, how many corners do I have? See, I will be getting eight corners in a cube. So, what will be the contribution of the number of atoms? So, I will be finding what are the number of atoms in this cell. So how many corners? Eight. The contribution from one corner is one by eight. So I will be getting one atom only in this cell. So the number of atoms in this cell is one. Now let us take the another case when I have a body-centered unit cell. Body-centered unit cell, which is also known as the BCC. So let me draw a cube for it. So what is in this case? I will be having the atoms at corners. See, atoms will always be present at the corners, at the corners and the body center. So let me find the number of atoms in this cell. So that will be see at corners we have eight atoms. So eight into contribution from one atom that is one by eight, and at the body center how many atoms I will be having that is one, and the contribution from one body center is one. So it will be one plus one, that is two. So number of atoms in the BCC will be two.
Now let me go to the FCC which is face centered cubic cell. So now what is the property of this that the atom will be present at the face center and the corners. So now let me take for the face center. So I will be getting number of atoms is equal to see how many faces do I have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and 6. So I will be basically having 6 faces. So 6 into what is the contribution from a single face? 1 by 2. Now let's go for the corner ones. So I will be getting 1 by 8 into number of corners that is 8. So basically number of atoms I will be getting as 4. So this is the basic concept regarding it. Now let me take for a edge center. Edge center. Now the atoms here will be present at present at the edge centers and the corners. So now let us decide that how many what is the contribution from the edge center. So let us see. So let me take any of the edge in it. Let me take this edge. This edge. Now this edge is shared by how many cubes that I have to see. So one is this cube. 2, 3 and 4. See, you, this edge can be shared by only 4 cubes. This is the first one, the backward one, the front one, the lower one and the lower side one. So how many cubes are sharing one edge? Basically 4. So it means that the contribution from one edge contribution from one edge will be how much? That is 1 by 4th. Okay, so now let me calculate the number of atoms in this edge center. So the number of atoms will be see 1 by 4th that is the contribution of a single edge. Now how many edges do I have in a cube? 12 edges means 12 sides so it will be into 12 plus the atoms will be present at the body center sorry the corners so it will be 1 by 8 into 8. So what is the number of atoms I am getting? 4. So n will be 4. So in the next case I shall be discussing the various mathematics related to it. So this is the basic of the solid state. So Best of luck. Thank you.